Hello, I'm Rob Neidlinger, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about buying your first rental property. Now, I've mentioned about a hundred times in all of my past videos that you should be buying your first property, and it should be a two unit, a three unit, or a four unit. And here's why this is important. FHA, which is the low down payment program, will allow you to buy a property with only three and a half percent of your own money in the deal. And right now, the economy, the interest rates are rising. It's a little less competitive. So I think it's easier for you right now to buy a house without paying cash. You know, in the last six months to a year, everyone was cash or conventional and the FHA buyer just couldn't buy a house. So you had to have 20% down or all cash. So if you were buying a $150,000 two unit property, you would have needed to have uh, 15 or 20 or even $30,000 to compete with everyone that was buying cash or buying with, um, with a conventional loan. So if you're a first time home buyer and you don't have a lot of money, you will need to save up about three and a half percent of your own money. So quickly uh, on a $150,000 purchase, that's 0 0.035 times 150,000. And that's $5,250. That's $5,250 you're gonna need for your down payment of $150,000 two unit. Like I said, I recommend a two unit, three unit, or four unit for your first house. The reason this is the way to go is that other tenant or the other two tenants or the other three tenants will actually pay your mortgage or help pay your mortgage so that you're paying substantially less. Now, keep in mind, you're still responsible for the maintenance of your unit. You're responsible for the maintenance and upkeep of the other units. But it's, guess what? It's really, really easy if you're living at the property to see how these other people are taking care of their property. Now, not only do you need 3.5% down, you also need closing costs. Closing costs are typically about 5%. So let's do 5, let's do 6%. 0 0.06 times 150,000. Closing costs on this particular two unit property that's $150,000 will be about $9,000. So you, you might need the 5250 we talked about and you might need this $9,000 in closing costs. Now what is nice about going FHA is you could potentially offer $159,000 for this house and then ask for a $9,000 credit. Then you're really only paying $150,000 for that $159,000 property. This is a way to raise the price and get the seller to contribute some money. So then if you're getting seller help of 6% from the seller, then you don't have to cover your closing costs. You just need a 3.5% down payment, which is required for an FHA loan. Now keep in mind, an FHA loan, you're gonna pay the interest rate of today's going rate. It's gonna be on a 30 year fixed mortgage. And you're also gonna have something called mortgage insurance. This is another fee. I would say it's about $100, $150 on a $150,000 purchase. Keep in mind, you're gonna to have to pay this on top of your principal and interest payment, your taxes and your insurance. And it should all be wrapped up in one loan. And your real estate agent that you're working with can help you come up with what your full payment's gonna be if you're buying a $150,000 two unit. The other thing your agent can do is help figure out what the maximum is you can rent the other unit for. If it's two or three extra units in your building that you're buying, you could ask them how much you could rent each one of those units for. And if they don't know, you could obviously do rent comps. You could go on Zillow, you could look around on the internet, you could do rentometer.com. That's another way to help you figure it out. But what you wanna do is make sure that the, the rent coming in from that particular unit, plus what you're willing to pay is, is in line and you're saving money on rent. And this is a great way to buy a two or three or four unit. I highly recommend, this is the only way to buy your first real estate property. Um, I know a lot of people that just want to buy the nice house right away. And I can tell you, if you sacrifice your time and you sacrifice what you're willing, you know, sacrifice getting that nice house just for a few years, do this house hacking thing a couple of times and you will save enough money to cover the difference on the house when you buy in the future. Because when you move out of this two unit, now you're going to rent out both units. Now you might be making a thousand dollars a month. And then you go buy the dream house and let's say the dream house is 2,500 a month. Well, now you have a thousand and then you're only contributing 1,500 towards the difference and that makes the, makes the jump much easier to do. And frankly, you should buy a two or three unit or a four unit a couple times before you go buy that dream house. And then you get you know all of these multi-units. Let's say you do it a couple of times and you have six or seven units before you have that dream house. That's the way to go. I have one person that works for me and I think she has 37 units or 35 units and she does not have her dream house. She's living in one of her three unit buildings and her tenants are paying her rent and she doesn't have a garage. I have another buddy who works in here with us and he's a, he's a young guy. 
Um, he's 25 years old. He has 20 houses and apartments and he lives in one of his two units. He is sacrificing to get to a higher level. He has the money to buy a nice house. He has the cash flow to pay for a nice house. I think he nets $7,500 a month on his 20 units and he could easily go buy a nice house but he is sacrificing and waiting. Now I know he has a Mercedes, he still does not have a garage, so he is just sacrificing a little bit longer before he goes and buys that dream house. And, and, and really, I can tell you, the more you sacrifice and not try to keep up with your friends that are driving the nice cars and buying the nice house, because it's just bigger payments, people. If you sacrifice and wait, um, I can tell you the reward on the law and the longer you wait on the back end will be more rewarding and, 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 and be much better for you and for your family and it'll give you stability you never thought you could have.